This one's yet another hard SAT geometry problem that's really a proportion problem in disguise. In the figure, LQ intersects MP at point R, and LM is parallel to PQ. The lengths of MR, LR, and RP are 6, 7, and 11. What's the length of LQ? All right, bad news, you've got to redraw this figure. And if you think it sucks for you, think about how bad it is for me. It's kind of like a warped bow tie. And then just step by step, write down what ETS tells you. LM is parallel to PQ. Okay, fine. That's not very important, but we'll put it in. MR is 6. LR is 7. And RP is 11. What's the value of LQ? So we're looking for this big line here, which sucks some more. This is a proportion. What's the proportion? The proportion is the small triangle to the big triangle. It is the two sides you know in the small triangle to the one side you know in the big triangle and the one side you don't know. So in, this, in the small triangle, we have a diagonal side. That's this diagonal side. We have a flat side. So I'm going to set the proportion up that way. All you got to do is keep the stuff on top on top and the stuff on bottom on bottom. So I'm going to put diagonal on top on the big triangle, flat on bottom. And of course, I'm going to set my two fractions in the proportion equal to each other. So what are the real numbers here? What's the diagonal number in the small triangle? It's 6. And what's the flat number? 7. What's the diagonal number, diagonal number in the big triangle? It's 11. And what's the flat number? Don't know. So once you set it up, it's just cross multiplying. So that's just 6x equals 77. Obviously, you're going to divide both sides by 6. And oh man, you get this nasty fraction. 77 over 6. Okay, so this whole line is what? It's 7 plus 77 over 6. Now, you have your super awesome calculator that costs a lot of money, and that's really cool, and if you know how to add this up, then you just do it. You get the answer. If you don't, or you want to know some other way to do it, I'm going to show you real quick how to bow tie. What you do is you multiply these numbers in a diagonal fashion. So 7 times 6 is 42. 1 times 7 is 77. You always multiply the bottoms. So you're going to get 6 on the bottom. And since it's an addition problem, you're going to add 42 plus 77. That's obviously calculator math. It's 119. And look at that. What answer choice is that? It's D. So it's a little tough, but you get through it, you get the right answer, and you move on.